Hi guys, Empress G here with another great recipe. This one is um, an Asian recipe. It's um, and you know what? I sort of like it because um, it's wonton soup, and it's made. You can make it with um ground chicken, ground shrimps, but um, the main ingredients in it for meat is ground pork. So basically, and shrimps. This one is ground pork and shrimp. So, you know, so I know some people don't like eat pork or whatever, but I'm just doing the recipe to make it more authentic. Early on, because when I do basically do ground meat, I buy the meat myself and I ground it um, in my food processor. It's an easy thing to be done. If you have a grinder, meat grinder, that's also true. But the food processor did it very well because I don't really buy ground meat in store because... I, you know, when I do ground meat, I buy the meat and I ground it up myself. And, now, and then I can see what is in the meat, you know. So I got some pork um, and a piece of pork and I wash it properly with lime and lemon and I ground it up in the, um, in the food processor. Your food processor can do wonders, folks. So, so the ground pork basically, what is uh, inside, for the, that's the main part of the wonton soup. And I also have the wrap. And I'm gonna be boiling some broth. So in the broth, you're gonna have eight cups of um, chicken stock and four cups of um, cold water um, put on. And in that, you're gonna add some scallion, um, some ginger, and um, two cloves or three cloves of garlic, and you let that to a boil. You're gonna be doing the wonton in a separate pot, and I have to start making those. So what you use for the, the, the season up the meat is um, some green onion, ginger a two, about two teaspoons of sugar two teaspoons of soy sauce a teaspoon of salt a quarter teaspoon of black pepper a teaspoon of cornstarch and that's basically it for the um oh and a tablespoon of sesame seed oil and um some or uh, a teaspoon of white vinegar if you don't have the chinese vinegar so that's it basically so in the pork here already, this is what I'm, so right now I'm just grinding up a few shrimps to add to the ground pork, because I didn't want to do them in the grinder. You don't need to do this in the food processor or in the grinder. The shrimps is pretty, you know. So you just clean up your shrimps, wash them off with some, in some lime water, de uh, devein them both sides, because the shrimp has um, shit on both sides, as I would put it. So you devein both sides. Wash it with some nice um, lemon, in some lemon juice, and I'm just you know shredding it up and add it to the ground pork. And I have this soup stuff on already um, on a low heat, and I'm adding the shrimps to my pork. And in it is just bok chow, and I'm gonna add a few carrots. That's it. So, so this is the ginger here, folks. About three or four. Pe These are gonna be removed afterward. You add that to it, and you add about um, a couple cloves of ginger, of garlic. Oh, I don't wanna crush them up. I just yeah. These gonna be removed anyway. So you add that to your stock. And um, I'm going to have to take these off to wash my board off. From the shrimps, you don't want any cross-contamination here going on here. So let me just wash my board off with some soapy water from the shrimp. Uh, shrimp is like chicken. You have to um, be careful when you use it and to clean up afterwards. So I just, all you have to do is just wash off your board in some warm soapy water and back at it. Okay? So, and I will also wash my knife off. Okay. And to the, um, the that we're going to, um, to this stuff, I'm going to have some green onions, the white part mostly. The green part is going to left for, um, okay. We had a few, about four or so pieces of green. And because this is going to be the flavoring of the stock. And like I said, when it's done, all of this is going to be removed. So a friend of mine said, do one tan soup. So they give me the recipe and everything, how to do it. So, yeah, so basically that's it. So for right now, 
I'm gonna be um put all of these in another plate. Okay. And in this one, um normally I thought it was just um but they say you can add um she said add um carrots to it. Okay, so right now folks um I made one ton quite a few times so um and one ton basically once you have to get me a little dish with some cold water some people use egg but I'm just gonna use plain cold water no eggs to um to seal it so this is the pork right here so I just had um I didn't have the sesame oil as yet so a teaspoon of sesame oil also add a teaspoon of sesame oil to the broth and um, some soy sauce about a teaspoon I'm just eyeballing all of this because you know what I'm not bragging but I'm pretty much good at it okay and also a teaspoon of that in your arm um, and you're gonna add um, a teaspoon of wine and I'm using just some um, cooking white wine in Chinese cooking, they'll be using their Chinese wine. So this is um, just wine vinegar, and um, also some soy sauce, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and that's for the shrimp and the ground for. And it's all seasoned already with um, a little bit of um. Um, seasoning um, spices so these are just to you know and this is going to be boiled in a separate pot okay and the rest of the shrimp is going to be added to the soup okay so I'll just add um, the cornstarch to the pork and it's a teaspoon of cornstarch okay and basically that's it and, I'm going to start making one ton wraps. And the thing about one ton wrap, you can also make them and freeze them when you're ready. And this soup I like because it doesn't have a lot of stuff in it, so calorie wise it's good. And in Chinese culture, they have this even for breakfast, soup for breakfast. You know, I know we do it too, but they do it on a different level. So basically, and once you um open the wonton wrap, let me let that start boiling. Oh, you know what? Um, let me just put. Okay, that can be done afterward. Okay, okay. So this is what one. This is bought in the store. Store bought wonton wrap. I'm just trying to make some space here. I have a small kitchen. Now that I'm complaining, I like it, you know, it's um, easy to clean up. Yeah, it's just me alone, so I don't need a half lot of space. You can only sit in one bed, right? And cook in one kitchen, so basically. So what I'm doing, I'm using some cheesecloth here, because once you open the wonton wrap, you have to keep it covered so it doesn't um, dry out. So that's the thing, so. I think I better use the scissors. My kitchen scissors to get I don't want because I don't want it damaged the um the one tan. I took them out early on, they said take them out, so, so this is it. So folks I'm gonna <laughs> start doing the one tan. Okay, so you're gonna put um you know not too much, just about a tablespoon and a half of um ground pork uh, the ground meat in it so let me just mix it up a little bit more getting all that flavor um, add a little bit more um, soy sauce. so the pot for the water is boiling with a little bit of salt in it so So 
basically folks um i think you take about this much not a lot and you wet around the edges and you're gonna go like this bring it in like this and you have to make sure that there's no um hole in it and it's tight like that okay so you're gonna wet around the edges And you just put your meat in. Don't put a lot because um, it will be too hard to close up. And you just bring both ends together like that. And you seal it like that. I know sometimes you can, you know, the expert, they can do some um, pretty interesting um, design. But this is the basic one. Okay. So... That's two down, okay, and this is just, I just want that, yeah, to simmer, and one ten pot, the water is boil already, so I just have to eat it up, so here we go, pour it in, and this, what you put it in the pot, and it boiled for about four to five, six minutes or so, and you will test it, you can open one of them. And as long as it's not pink, you know, it's cooked. Okay. So it, I think you give it about five to, it depends on, uh, because this is not hard to cook. Pretty easy to be cooked. So you just test it, do your own testing, and see um, if it's cooked. And if there's a little tear there or anything, you can just um, seal it up. Like I said, once you take your wonton, how to keep it um, moist, you just put a little wet cloth back on it and keep it moist. And you just wet along the edges with water. Like I said, I don't, it's, I think it's a personal choice if you want to use water or if you want to use um, eggs for it. Yeah. So right now I'm just here. Yeah. Most of the recipe I've seen is just use water to seal it. Okay. and there you go see yeah seal it up because it's flour so it sticks okay and this could give quite a bit so um you know if you're not going to use all of it you just freeze freeze the rest of it okay and you, you know you can take it out when you're ready just get your soup stuck and do you want and soup I did, was going to do some of these before, but I thought I just want to show people everything that's involved in it because otherwise I would have done some at a time. But this is pretty easy to do. Pretty easy. And you can, you know, like in if you want to get it authentic, it's, it's the pork. And I know a lot of people don't eat pork. So I guess you could use um, ground chicken or... You know whatever choice you choose but in the chinese i'm trying to keep it close to the um past the chinese thing so it's ground pork and i'm um, shrimp right now i'm gonna keep the board dry and you have to be careful they're very thin they're very thin Cover them back once you take out one because they dried up pretty fast and not too big. Just right around. And you just close up. Boom. And it's done. Pretty easy and if you have a hole in it you just seal it up so make sure it's very tight uh, as a while when you eat the water it's gonna open up close 
I used to work at a community center as a coordinator there. Um, um, on Chinese New Year's, this was, uh, you know, of the old Chinese meal, the fried rice, the, the um, egg rolls, and all of the, all of those things I can do. You know, I worked there for many years, so we have Chinese New Year's over here. We had a few Chinese, um, somebody, see, they're sticking together right now, and I don't want that. Come on, open up, open up, open up. Come on. Oh. up one time I don't want to make it a long long video folks so I'm going pretty fast to get these done like I said I was going to do this at a time but I thought I'd just show you what I, what I want it entail so Otherwise, we would have had a lot of them done before. I'm going to put on a few one time. That way I go pretty fast. water and you just closed there you go just close up and close like I said um this is the traditional way they do it, but you know, if you want to do it the fancy way, I normally use a brush, but um, to brush the water on it makes it uh, more okay. So, this one here now, see, so yeah, you cannot put too much in, otherwise, when it hit the pot, it will. There you go. The water is the trick to close it up. Because it would bind with the flower and um so it closes. The the broth smell very nice. I'll do a few more then I'll just put the water on the boil and the water is boiling right now so I just turn the stove down very low see they stick together you have to be careful you don't end up with two they're sticking together so you have to be so gentle with them and these you can buy in any supermarket or in Chinese um stores now this one I just got to do like this because um Yeah, in Walmart, in any in, in any store you have these, or any supermarket, Chinese um stuff is very popular everywhere. Just like Jamaican stuff. Okay, folks, not doing too bad. 
go in there. So I had a friend who was working at a Chinese restaurant and she said someday she'd do all a thousand. That was just her job to just do make one ton. So she'd make all about a thousand. Can you imagine that? And you know in Chinese culture pork is like you know it's very and as I say you could do them with ground chicken or turkey or whichever you prefer and yeah you just have to make sure the edges are sealed tight That smells good and you just seal I'm just going to do about two more or so and then let me turn on the water back let it start boiling and all you do is just add a bit of salt in the water okay and it's boiling separate pot because if you boil it in the same pot you know um you can control it much better if you do it in a separate pot because you don't want to have it overcooked or you know other stuff is going to be in there like the so yeah, it's control you have a better control over it you cook it in a different pot you cook the wonton in a different pot then you add it to the broth And these are the same one that you can use and make spring rolls, you know. And that's for all another day. I said two more. <laughs> I should have. Okay, these are. This is it. The rest I can do later. Because I have a few here right now, yeah. Okay, I just bring this over like that. Okay, folks. Don't just squeeze out. So you have to make sure that you squeeze it so you get all the hair. There's no air in it. Otherwise, it'll just burst when it gets into the pot. And you're going to have like, instead of one time, okay. These are just some, um, now let me just wash my hands. And the water is boiling over there. For the one ton soup. For the one ton to go in. It's just re-eating because it was boiled already. I like to do. I'm just going to add the carrots to this now.
So the carrot you're going to do on an angle. And very thin. And like I said, this is, um, oh, you know, you don't have to put carrot in it. It just can be back shell. And your back shell, you, you take them apart and you make sure you wash them properly. Because back shell have a lot of dirt in it, sand. You know, just like the green onions, you know. So this you're going to add. I'm just going to put the heat up a bit. And I'll be taking out the ginger and all of that in a few minutes. Because those were just put in there for flavor. The ginger and the garlic and the scallion. So these are going to do thin, very thin. Like I said, most of the recipe they don't put any of this in it but this one she gave me she said um they add the carrots the carrot give it color so the one time i'm gonna be putting in right now folks um the water is boiling and it's about 18 minutes after i'm just gonna be I'm gonna boil for about five to six minutes I'm going to go over there anyway. Sorry for stretching over like that, folks. And you add a little bit of salt to the water. quite a few I did. Oh, very good. And I would have done all of them if I had. Okay, so folks, the one tender cooking right now. And I'm just going to be taking out the, the ginger and garlic, all of that, because in the end, the soup has to be like just what need to be in it. These are for flavor, so these are done. Their job is done right now. The ginger and all of that, their job is done. And one tons are cooking. Just taking out all of that. I'll leave a piece of ginger though. The ginger gives it flavor. Okay, folks, so the wontons are doing good, they're cooking up. Yeah. I add a little bit of salt to the wontons. About a teaspoon. You're not gonna add it too much because there's salt in the um inside the, the seasoning. So, let me show you the pot is right now, yeah. And as I say, I don't have a cameraman or a woman, it's just me alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get a headset go uh, full phone that you can use on your head. So I'm looking at various one on um, Amazon. You just put it, attach it to your head and you just move around. Everywhere you go, it goes with you, and that I'm trying to get. And I, I don't have to keep adjusting, you know, the GoPro. So it's just a carrot. Okay, and I think.
folks, this is the back shower here. See, it's all washed, properly washed. And I have the shrimp. So I'm going to have the shrimp. So um, these are big shrimp, so I'm just going to cut them in half. These are like jumbo. These are what left, so she said just um, put them in there. Mm -hmm. And the back show is going to go in very last because you know it does not need a lot of you don't want to uh, do a lot of cooking to it. Let me just check and see. How the wontons are coming along. Start putting in the bath shells and the shrimp. And you know, the, the, the one that is still going to be cooking while it gets into okay. So I'm just putting in the bath shells right now. You just put in them like that because they're not gonna be you're not gonna be cooking them today they're just gonna be like blanching and then you had the one time okay and the shrimps you know shrimps are pretty easy to cook so i'm gonna start putting in the one time so right now more back shell and I open it and it's not pink so that's when you know that they're cooked and like i said they're going to be adding to the main broth so they're still going to be going you know the cooking process still going to be going on so not like our regular soup but we have it very thick with um a lot of colors from pumpkin and stuff no this is just a nice broth so folks um i know a lot of people are gonna say oh that don't have no color no nope, this is chinese one tongue soup it is not our beef or chicken or thing this is from the Chinese perspective, okay? So folks, that's it right there now. And just add back this over there. Sorry, just stretch over. And you're just gonna let it steam. Because everything is there right now. Okay. Mm. it's pretty good just add a little bit more sesame oil and a little bit more soya and you know the carrot and everything cook pretty fast Mm. Oh. 
that's good. That's just so they come to a boil, then it's all done. Chinese bowl and a plate and these are pretty good folks I get these at the Dallas store for um four dollars each you know you have to go authentic all the way right boil now yeah there you go folks look at that hmm the, the taste is to the eyebrow so now I'm just gonna turn the stove off with a cup of one tummy along with that because bok choy is a thing if it's too cooked it, 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 it sort of lose, um, you know, you just, just let it, um, don't let it overcook. Just like a lot of vegetables, don't let it overcook. I'm not going to lie, folks, a few of the one can pull apart. Put a few pieces of shrimps in. A few of them came apart because you see you have to seal them pretty good. Get some colors. And if you like me, I like soup. I can drink soup every day, folks. Um, this soup for me would be good because um, I can drink soup like just like this pumpkin soup, um, sweet potato soup with not a lot of um stuff in it you know okay. oh okay one more thing for um, in it so this is where you put your um green onions now that's the green part of the onion that's the flavor okay over now and like I said the broth it is so good and folks soup folks there you go that is one ton soup right there don't get no better than that please subscribe and hit that notification bell okay so that is wonton soup with ground pork and um shrimps um so that's the typical and as i say you can make it but i just want to do it authentic so i you, you know because pork in chinese cooking is a uh, very important part of the cooking right so th there you go 
one ten soup folks so anyway folks um enjoy the rest of the day i hope you manage to get outside and i'm um, going for a walk um stretch those muscles because they say if you don't use it we'll lose it right so anyway folks you have the enjoy the rest of the day and try this recipe a chinese um wonton soup it's not very expensive to make okay all right peace